It's Wes, welcome to this video. Today we're gonna to tell you about, not my dad's harmonica, sorry. We're gonna tell you about why I chose the Canon EOS R5. And here it is, I chose it. And I'm gonna tell you why I chose it and what I chose it for, slightly different reasons. You're a beautiful person and a good person. And if no one has told you that today, let me be the first person to tell you that. All right. This is one of my favorite straps, the straps by L Rubes. Check them out on Instagram. Um, I got a little L bracket on here and the R5, why did I choose it? Now, I have my international box of mystery and what I'm gonna do is choose, there's six reasons, I'm gonna choose one. This is one of the ones that I had in mind before I purchased it. Because yeah, there was some forethought and then there were some realizations after the fact why it was a great choice. Number one reason is autofocus. The Canon autofocus system is um, simply amazing, reliable, I can count on it every time. Now, especially when I'm doing event photography, I want a camera that's gonna be tracking that eye and getting those moments and not losing a moment because of a struggling focus. So the EOS R has been amazing, it's great, and so I knew that the Canon autofocus would do it for me. Now, I had been using the Fuji X-T4, and if you stick around at the end of the video, I'm gonna share some more of the personal gear journeys that I've been on, but right now, Autofocus, tried and true. Canon, all right, next. Trusty box of international mystery. Ooh, this is a big one. Reliability. So on a professional shoot, it's very important to have a reliable camera. So you have to have good battery life, you have to have um, good a rugged frame durability. In fact, one of my first shoots, I took this out to the Mojave Desert and we we're doing a photo album cover shoot for a, a client of mine. And so there was dust blowing everywhere and wind blowing everywhere. And this camera was rugged, it was reliable, and that's one of the reasons I chose the Canon R5. It lives up to demanding, client work. Whatever the circumstance, whatever the uh, environment, um, whatever the situation, the Canon can handle it. It's reliable. One more. What's next? Oh yes, this is a big one. So this is another one that I really had in mind ahead of time. And the reason I had uh, this camera in mind specifically was resolution, 45 megapixels. Um, I mentioned earlier I had the Fuji X-T4, I had the Canon EOS R, and I knew that when I uh, zoomed in, pixel pinched, pixel peeped if you wanted, um, some people kind of poo poo that, but I know that I want to see the expectations I have of my work is if I zoom in, I look at the eye, I want that resolution. I want to see it sharp and clear. It relates to autofocus, yes, but I just want to be able to dive in and zoom in. Now, I frame my pictures and compose them um, usually pretty carefully, so I'm not trying to just take a wide shot and then crop. That's not really what I want in resolution. I just want that detail. Now, when I rented one of these cameras back last fall, there were shots where I was able to see like we went to Ojai to this nature preserve and I had this kind of wide shot of the family across the lawn with these massive oak trees and every time I brought it up in Lightroom the amount of detail that I saw in the trees those leaves um, it kind of grabbed me and it was compelling and so I wanted that type of detail in my client work to be able to have that full rich detail the sharpness yes but it's really in the resolution where I found that all right Next one, let's go to the magical box of mystery. Oops, that's two. Resolution, did I write that twice? <laughs> I put it back in the box. Okay, all right, here we go. Oh yes, very, very important. And I'm gonna show you what I mean. The ergonomics of this camera. Simply put, this camera is comfortable. The OSR felt like uh, 
an extension of my body, of my hand, my arm, and the R5 follows those same dynamics, those same structures. It was very comfortable in my hand right away. And so the ergonomics of shooting with this all day, it's very easy to do. Um, also the, the flip out screen, those, it's easy to use. Um, I actually have an L bracket that has a cutout there for that screen. Um, it's easy to shoot vertically and line up shots that are low to the ground with the flip out screen. A lot of cameras have that. Um, I chose the 35 uh, RF lens for my first lens back into the RF system. And it's a great, great lens. Um, I chose it because it's small. And so ergonomics matter a lot to me, how light it is, how maneuverable it is, um, how easy it is to work with in a long day or a long shoot. So ergonomics, um, I love the R, and this was built out of that same kind of frame and structure, and it works great for me. I love how it feels. All right, we have two more. Oh, you know what? ergonomics I'm learning from my mistakes okay well this is interesting color so why did I this was not something I planned ahead of time it was something I knew I knew from shooting Fuji I feel like Fuji has a very unique color um, it's it's special and I knew that the Canon colors were good um, and I feel like they're more on the standard side um, however I love the Canon colors and it's reliable. It, here's the word reliable again. It's reliable when you're doing client work. I think the Fuji, the Fuji look, the Fuji colors, I love them personally. That's why I have the Fuji X-T4, X-E4, sorry. <laughs> the Fuji X-E4 that I'm filming on now, I use that for my street photography. Um, but for the client work, I rely on the Canon colors because it's more of a standard look and I can customize it, of course, to whatever palette the client wants. All right, and here is our last reason why the Canon R5 was the right camera for me for uh, if I didn't say this before, I chose it for still photography for client work. So I knew my purpose. Um, and the last one is a little bit interesting for um, photography and that's stabilization, in body image stabilization. That's right. So this has IBIS and one of the reasons that I um, have found this to be great is because shooting video, it provides that stabilization, it eliminates camera shake, micro jitters, um, but there's also a payoff when you're using lower shutter speeds on your photographs is that it helps eliminate that shake out of still images too. And so those are my top, uh, top six uh, ergonomics, IBIS, resolution, autofocus, the color, and what was the other one? One. The reliability. Six reasons why the R5 was right for me for still work for my client professional work. And that's it, man. I am so eager to get shooting with this more and more as things open back up. And uh, so thank you for joining me. Hopefully this was helpful. I'm gonna actually do another video about my personal journey with Fuji, adding that into the mix, because uh, that is a va valuable um, camera that I, that I own and use and love. Um, but it is not the one I chose for my still photography work for clients. All right. If you like this video, give it a like. If you uh, have any questions or comments about the R5 and whether it's right for you or anything you wanna know, leave me a comment. I'd be happy to discuss that and learn more about what you're into and what you're shooting. And uh, give it a like, leave me a comment, and I don't know, share this video. What other things could you do? Oh, subscribe. If you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe. Thank you, everybody. See ya.